welcome guys to our new video and as you see from a thumbnail today we are going to discuss on some of the important point and it's very interesting point that how you could avoid your stop losses and how i avoided my stop losses in today's live market so we're going to discuss on that and i will not waste my time on the intro so without wasting a time let's start the video so this is the today's nifty chart and as i don't know like how you guys are traded today let me know in the comment section i will tell you that how i avoided my stop losses and why i didn't trade today so before moving on to the analysis let's mark the important level of yesterday so yesterday there is a quite trending day because of the average cpr so we can expect a wide cpr today and this is what happened uh, the important level was only the days high is there and days low. There is a no turning point and no virgin CPR is there. So this was the only two important level for yesterday's like days high and days low. So we'll mark this level and uh, let's discuss about the today. So today the uh, can first candle open with a, a big uh, pin bar on upside. So we can analyze that there is a sellers are present there. So they will push market at downside, but we can't predict. But uh, then why you can't initiate the trade on first candle? because the candle is inside the cpr so you can't uh, you know go long or short on inside the cpr candle so that's why please have patience and after the cpr has been broken uh, what happened uh, the cpr has been broken but if i initiate my trade on this cpr breakout candle i, I have to put my stop loss on this center line of a cpr so and i have to put my target on this days low because market can uh, reverse from the days low because of the wide cpr you know there is a market will not trend when there is a cpr is been wide you know uh, not 100 percent but a lot of the time market is in the sideways range when the cpr has been wide so that's why i have fear in my mind that uh, if i initiate the trade here and uh, my top profit ratio, profit ratio is not one as to two it's kind of a one as to one only so that's why i didn't initiate the trade on this candle actually i want to go long when there is a kind of a consolidation on this days low and the breakout but look at this there is a kind of a small consolidation has been there on when the previous days low has been broken but look at this candle you really want to go long on this candle because if you go long on this candle where should you put your uh, stop loss you have to put your stop loss on this days low previous day low but this was a quite long stop loss and you you can't predict that market will go this type of a long when a, on a downside trend because of this wide the cpr has been wide so you can't uh, if the cpr has been narrow then you could go long on this type of candle but please try to avoid uh, when this kind of type of a candle has been happened because this type of a candle is just happening by you know when big players are entered into the market so i am not interested because where should i put my stop loss here you know and the profit where should i uh, take my profit because of because of the wide cpr i can't predict a trending day on downside so that's why i want to initiate my trade on this candle on uh, this candle also so i just in my in my mind i think that it will reverse from here and i will initiate my trade on this days after it retest on uh, previous day low so i'll think that uh, it will uh, when it will uh, retest the previous day low uh, i will go on short but uh, when uh, what happened look at this uh, the market is uh, reversed and it retest the previous day low but i am expecting a kind of a uh, red candle which has a uh, pin bar on upside but look at this candle this red candle has the pin bar on downside so that's why i can think that there is again the buying pressure has been there there is not complete sign to go short on this candle also and look at this if you go short on this candle look at the candle as i told earlier video also the, the candle is more important you have to read the candle also because there is a buying pressure is there initially this candle has been a uh, red candle complete red candle but buyers look at the pin bar on downside you know it's not good sign to go short you know and if the pin bar is on the upside then i could go short on this candle and today is the thursday expiry so you can earn the theta decay and you will be in the profit but uh, still i think it's not a good way to go short on this candle and look at what happened buyers are completely take the market upside and after this candle has been uh, broken like uh, days low is broken previous day low has been broken look at this type of a uh, big uh, green candle and again it will go inside the cpr and inside the cpr i try to avoid trading when the candle is inside the uh, cpr so that's why i want to initiate any trade today today is the like a uh, kind of a day like i am expecting trading today because of the thursday obviously in a new stock i just specially want to mention this uh, in the new i'm trading in the new stock only 
so i am expecting kind of a trade today but uh, today there is no trade because of this reason only i will discuss again first of all when the cpr breakout has been happen but the uh, risk reward ratio is not that good it's one as to one only so that's why i haven't initiated my trade second one when the uh, previous day low has been broken but look at the candle size you can't go long on this type of a candle because this type of a candle is created by the big players only they are manipulating the market and again if anybody go long on this candle there is a uh, daily period also on downside so risk ratio is not at good at all and the third trade which i think that i will initiate but i haven't because of this candle this candle has a big pin bar on downside it means a good buying pressure has been there so that's why i want to initiate the trade and look at if you initiate the trade here look at our stop loss oh my god this is a huge candle you can't exit like you will you ha will have a huge loss if you had traded on this candle so this was the trade which i trade not trade this was the analysis which i want to discuss with you guys to like uh, you will also learn something from this so i just want to spread awareness regarding to this so we'll meet on the next video till that peace out and if you like the video please make sure to the subscribe to the channel peace out